Hello, hi Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn how to open and close an application or browser in OpenRPA. So just before getting started, if you like my content, give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell. So let's get started by learning how to open and close an application. So here I have already created a new workflow on OpenRPA and to open an application, we'll use an activity. So here on the toolbox, let's search for the activity open application. And as the name indicates, this activity opens an application. So let's drag this activity to our workflow. And now we have to indicate the application to this activity. So first let's open the application. I will use the notepad. So let's open notepad. And now let's click here on select element on the open application activity. And let's now click here. So we have already decayed the notepad. So now let's close the notepad and execute our workflow by clicking here on play. And as we can see, was open the notepad. So let's learn now how we can close an application. So to close an application, we'll use an activity. So here on the toolbox, let's search for close application and let's drag this activity to our workflow after the one that opens the application. And so first we have to indicate application to close. So let's click here on select element and let's indicate the notepad application. So it's already indicated. Now we have to provide the timeout. So let's here define five seconds, for example. And now let's close Notepad and see what happens. So let's click on play. We can see that was started the Notepad, but then was closed by the close application activity. So now that we have learned how to open and close an application, let's learn how we can open the browser and then close it. So I'll just comment these two activities in order for them not to be executed. So to open the browser on OpenRPA, we'll use the open URL activity. So here on the toolbox, let's search for open URL. And here we can see two open URL activities. Let's use the one that works with Google Chrome and Edge. So I'll drag the one from openrpa.nm. And now let's indicate the browser to be open and on which URL. So the quickest way uh, to provide, to indicate these two values, it's to open the browser, Google Chrome on the page. So in my case, it's on google.com. And now if we click here on get current, we can see that automatically was indicated the browser that it's open, Chrome, and the URL on which it's open, google.com in my case. So now if we close the browser and click on play, the browser is open on google.com. So now that we are able to open the browser, let's learn how to close it. So here on the toolbox, let's search for the activity close tab. And what this activity does, it allows to close a tab or all tabs open it on the browser. So let's drag this activity after the open URL. And now here we are not required to indicate the browser. If we don't indicate any browser, it will act on the open browser. But let's just indicate here Chrome anyways. And then here close all, it's uh, a Boolean. So here we have to indicate if we want to close all tabs open or not. So Let's set to true to make sure that the browser is closed. Imagine that we have two tabs open. If we close only one, the browser will not be closed. But if we close all tabs of the browser, it will be closed. So uh, let's see what happens now. So let's click on play. 
the browser was open and then was closed. If you want to learn more about OpenRPA, you can find more tutorials here on my channel. And check out the first link on the video description from which you'll be able to see my Udemy OpenRPA course curriculum and details. Briefly, it's a course that goes from the basics and teaches what's needed to get started on OpenRPA and build RPA automations. And that's all for this tutorial. And if you like it, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified on each tutorial that I will share on the channel.